Hi everybody, Todd Cooper right here from Esoteric. Want to do a special video now that we've got 50,000 subscribers here on our Esoteric channel. So you want to get a good peek at some of the cool stuff that's in the shop? Stay tuned. We're going to do a walk around and go through all the details of everything that's in here. Okay, like I said, we hit a big milestone, 50,000 subscribers. We want to thank everybody that's been hanging out with us for the last, I don't know, four or five years. Wes, how long it's been? It's, it's been about uh, uh, that much time. We've done a tremendous amount of videos. We've got, I don't know, about 7 million views uh, at this point. And what we wanted to do, we've done a couple of these before. We're going to link you to the, at the end here. But um, we've showed you a little bit about what we're up to, what we've got in the shop. And we want to show some of the progression that we've had over the years. First and foremost, we're operating out of three locations right now. It is March 2021. We moved our product distribution out of here. We've got a warehouse here in our little industrial park. Uh, we just were growing way too much and they needed their own space. We also have a dedicated crew, five or six people down at the local Mercedes Benz dealership. We operate out of there handle all of their detailing uh, needs as well. You know, we'll be doing uh, 2000 cars there uh, this year. So obviously things have changed quite a bit. What started out years ago, like when Dan and I were the only two workers in here, as you can see here, we got a lot of cars in the shop, but not a lot of people. That's just temporary. We had the guys take a break real quick while we shot our video. So we're not trying to compete with the sounds of machines polishing paint. Now we're up to about 24 uh, people. So. A lot of that comes in part uh, to all of you that have been watching us here on the channel and we definitely appreciate it. Okay, so enough about that. Let's get into some of the cars that we have got here right now. First and foremost, 488 Pista. Uh, this one only has a couple hundred miles on it, but you know, you, we've documented it well in the past. Ferraris need a little love. So we're going in doing paint correction on this one. Um, gonna add some paint protection film, uh, ceramic coatings to it get this thing completely showroom ready. This is going to go on the showroom over at Mercedes-Benz of Easton as soon as we're done with it. I doubt this one is going to last long uh, on the showroom floor. This also has one of the coolest Ferrari interiors that I have uh, ever seen. I mean, it is just stunningly beautiful. Ferrari Pista, uh, next up, brand new M3 competition BMW. It's the first one that we've had in here. Uh, yes, the, the, the front uh, bumper is a little bit polarizing on it, but I got to tell you, this is an amazing car. Interior is unbelievable. We did paint correction on it, paint protection film on the front end, high impact areas, ceramic coating, uh, tinted windows, and we're going to be coating the wheels a little bit later today. This person wants to drive this car. It's going to be protected for any and all seasons. I expect we're going to be seeing a lot more of these cars. Extremely cool. Uh, working our way back here, you know, even something like a, a diesel Porsche Cayenne needs a little bit of love. The person just wanted to fix up their car, take care of some scratches, bring a little bit of life back into the paint. Even a silver car like this, we can make a nice difference on. Okay, we're going to bypass this little car right here first and work our way to the back. <clears throat> Actually, one of the cooler cars we've got in here and one of my favorite cars uh, this Porsche GT4 brand new we have done a laundry list of services on this and getting ready to do more we did paint correction on it we did a full paint protection film wrap uh, and did these amazing HRE wheels P104 SC I've got the same wheel style on my car this is the first time we did them in a brushed bronze finish one of the coolest finishes we have ever ordered up uh, with HRE. We're doing a tremendous amount of HRE wheels uh, these days on a variety of cars. This one looks fantastic. Well, what it's in here for now, uh, we're really excited about it. Uh, we ordered up a JCR exhaust out of England. And those things sound ridiculous on Porsches. Finally came in, I'm gonna give a, a shout out to Johnny at JCR Exhaust over in England. Thanks for the great service on this. It's gonna look amazing, it's gonna sound amazing. Okay, a little Italian redhead here, uh, Ferrari F40. You know, this car, not this particular one, but the F40 represents so much about who Esoteric is, you know, where we came from in the past, 
articles that we've done about them. We've worked on a tremendous amount uh, of these cars. We know them extremely well. Uh, uh, this one just came in, our customer just took delivery of it. So we're gonna go in, we're doing a, a paint correction. You can see we just got it taped up. As soon as uh, I get off a, a camera here, I'm gonna be picking up a machine and going into polishing with this. So we're gonna go polish out the car and the customer wants to do paint protection film on it. So we're gonna wrap the entire front end, rockers, rear wheel impact areas, those high impact areas, this customer is going to go out and drive this car, which I think is awesome. And we also have a really cool set of HRE wheels that are coming for uh, this car. They're being engineered right now specifically for the F40. So stay tuned, we're gonna be doing some more on the F40. Everybody loves them. It's about the most iconic Ferrari that you can uh, that you can get and one of the most iconic looking sports cars that were ever made. You know, when you're thinking late 80s design, you know, we had this the other day sitting outside next to a, uh, a brand new Pagani and there's a lot of styling cues that are same. You got three decades separated between the two, but this still looks good uh, in, in modern day. You just don't have the amenities with it, but amazing, amazing car. Uh, love working on these things. Okay, now getting into some of the more uh, quote-unquote normal stuff. You know, AMG uh, S63 here. These are super cool cars. We're just finishing up. Uh, this is the last one of his collection, uh, four or five cars. Paint correction on it, ceramic coating, leathery treatment on the inside of it. Uh, he picked this up used and just wanted to bring a little bit more life to it, a little bit more brilliance and that's what the paint correction is going to uh, do for you. Okay, follow me back over here. This is the official paint protection film side of the business. We've got a crew of five or six people dedicated just to paint protection film. Um, we've got you know two lifts over on this side, one lift on the other. Uh, our noose bomb lifts, hopefully you've seen our video on those, but these guys are dedicated to doing nothing but paint protection film. It's usually a couple of months, uh, two to three months wait to get in and get stuff done. Why? It's because these guys are so good at what they do. You know, we even installed, uh, had custom built um, some peel boards here, make it a little bit easier for the guys to, to set everything up, have everything right in front of them, try to make this process as efficient as possible. Uh, right now over here, they're working on a new Tesla, doing a full wrap. We don't just do supercars, hypercars here at Esoteric. Tesla is a huge group of customers for us. We do a tremendous amount of them. And surprisingly, most of them are going for full wraps. They're going for satin paint protection film uh, wraps on it, change it. Tesla's only come in about five colors. So by doing something like a, a satin wrap, this one's getting clear, but if you do a satin wrap, completely change up uh, the look. So. Uh, Tesla people, thank you. You've been very important to us over the years. Even in the very early days here at Esoteric, uh, we started working on a lot of Teslas and it has just uh, continued. BMW, you know, we work with a, a variety of body shops here in town that after they take care of collision damage, they need paint polishing, they need paint protection film uh, reapplied to it. We get them in, we take care of uh, that. Okay, one of the big boy cars in here. This has been a great customer of ours. For many years, we've done a lot of great projects uh, with him. Brand new McLaren 765LT, absolutely amazing car. Went in, did some paint polishing, did tinted windows on it, full paint protection foam wrap. Uh, right now it's in the process of uh, QC. Then once we're done with that, we'll go in, do ceramic coatings. He hasn't had a chance to spend any time with this car so far because he always gets them to us first so we can spend plenty of time on it. This thing will be out on the road, he can drive it and not have to worry about it. Okay, one of the final cars, and I say a final car, but it doesn't include everything that's outside. We typically have a separate car show out in the back parking lot uh, with the amount of cars that we have staged, ready to come in here and get uh, worked on. You know, we're kind of busting at the seams here. Hopefully one of the next videos that we're gonna be doing for you in a walk around is gonna show you some construction that's going on because we're hoping to expand our footprint here in this building because we desperately need the space. All right, finally, brand new 992 Porsche Turbo S. One of the, the, the quickest, fastest cars uh, out there. Uh, I love the Turbo S that, that I had. This one uh, just came in for a local customer. Uh, beautiful spec, silver with a light tan interior on it, what you don't normally see. 
I think this one's getting a little bit of everything from tinted windows, paint protection film, to ceramic coatings and, uh, and everything in between. This person wants to drive this on a regular basis. They can go out and really enjoy it. Well, hopefully that gives you a little bit better look of, you know, behind the scenes, what we've got going on, how much growth that we've been going through, the expansion, working out of three different facilities now compared to the early days. Make sure you uh, check out these videos at the end where we do uh, some of the earlier days and you'll notice a big difference, you know, just in uh, um, the way we have the space laid out and what we're doing. We really enjoy having you here with us on the Esoteric channel. Thank you, all of you guys uh, uh, and gals that, that come in, uh, watch the stuff regularly, comment regularly. We really appreciate it. And as always, thank you for hanging out with us on the Esoteric channel. We'll look forward to seeing you again in the next video.